the Commanding General of the Maneuver Center of Excellence, Major General Patrick J. Donahoe, sat down for a Q&A at this year's State of Benning with members of the community and Columbus Chamber of Commerce in attendance. This event is held once a year to further enhance the relationship of the Fort Benning and Columbus communities. Now that Fort Benning is open, Major General Donahoe spoke about one of his main focuses as commander of Fort Benning, continuing the fight against COVID-19. So the, the biggest thing we're doing right now is encouraging soldiers to get vaccinated. Right? We, the, the vaccine is not mandatory for soldiers, but it is critically important, not only to protect themselves, it's to protect the team which then enables us to protect the mission. Columbus Chamber of Commerce President Gerald Mitchell identified the local economic benefit of Fort Benning's return to in-person graduations. Yeah, it means a lot. Over 60% of our region's workforce uh, has a job that is either on or tied to Fort Benning. It's huge. Uh, when we think about military graduations alone, that is roughly a $20 million annual impact to the local economy. So it's important that we're having those graduations continue to happen. One of the many graduations that have returned are those of the Rangers, commonly referred to as Rangers in Action. The Rotary Club of Columbus got to see a new generation of Rangers receive their tabs. The group then made their way to the U.S. Army Armor and Cavalry Collection where they got a sneak peek at the MCOE's vast collection of vintage armored vehicles. This building will soon be open to the public, but for now, it serves as a symbol of things to come at Fort Benning. Peyton King, Fort Benning, Georgia.